Okay, if I'm being completely honest, I had absolutely no intentions to go to the release of Kit on release day. I, as you guys know, am just not the biggest fan of Kit. However, when American Girl started to promote this new Kit version that was coming out with the new classic mold, something about her just really appealed to me. So I was like, fine, let me just cave in. I know that there are people that are going to want to see what she looks like. So I was like, let me just bite the bullet and whatever happens, happens. And if I leave with Miss Kit Kitridge, I will leave with Miss Kit Kitridge. Anyway, so on release day, instead of doing what I usually do, I decided, you know what, since this isn't a doll that I am rushing to get, I will just film this video and release it on Saturday like normal and that's exactly what I did. So I took my time this day. This is what the store looked like. Outside, they had a display of the Kit Kit Ridge new stuff that was coming out for her, all the stuff that was being re-released. At the front of the store, they literally like took out Nikki and Isabel's entire section. They did an entire historical section instead. And this is really what the store really should look like when you first walk in. I feel like for me, seeing this was like, this is how it should be always. I feel like this front center little section should be for the new releases but then the rest of the store when you first walk in should be the historical dolls. This is what Kit in her box looks like. This is everything that is re-released with Kit. I was actually fairly surprised by the amount of fanfare that was here at the New York store. A lot of people were coming in. A lot of people were getting Kit. I think that American Girl did a great job of really rolling her out. I feel like they should have done a little bit more promotion, but of course, it's fine. I was looking around and I had absolutely no intentions of getting her other outfits. I forcibly had to get her accessories because to get the doll you do have to get her accessories with it it's 150 dollars the doll comes with the accessories and me i'm not really one to buy the accessories for dolls and i feel like kids accessories specifically aren't really worth it but i was like you know what it's fine I, after seeing these displays, was like, let me just bite the bullet and get Miss Kit Kit Ridge. But I want to give you guys footage of what the store looked like. I feel like this is so adorable. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about having the historical dolls at the front of the store. I feel like it's just what the brand is supposed to be centered around. So seeing it at the front of the store made my heart so happy that they were focusing on the historical dolls. Even if it was just for the fact that it was Kit's re-release, I feel like American Girl really should be just focusing on the historicals right now. I feel like there is a lot of movement going on right now with the historical dolls and people are wanting to see some of the original historical dolls re-released. So that was the front of the store for Kit. And now I'm going over to the Jenny's ice cream truck just to show you guys a brief little look at what it looks like like on my TikTok, I also have a little follow me to the American Girl store. If you guys follow me on TikTok, I am enjoying falling in love with the app. It is actually really, really fun creating content for you guys on there. But then on top of that, I also know that there were people that wanted to see Courtney and all of the stuff that is coming out for Courtney right now. They just released a strawberry shortcake slumber party set. Between the Care Bears one and the slumber party this set, I definitely feel like the strawberry shortcake one is a little more up my alley. I feel like they're both really cute. I definitely have no intentions of buying either one, but they are adorable if you're looking for that. So downstairs, they did change out Kit's entire Be Forever section. I was told by one of the employees there that American Girl, I think, is going based off of what people are wanting in regards to the historical dolls. I don't think that the historical dolls are really going to get anything new per se, but the new stuff that's going to be coming out for them is going to be re-releases of their original outfits. I do think that Samantha is going to get re-released again. I do think that some of the other girls are going to get re-released again, but I think that they picked Kit specifically because she is such a big fan favorite that they wanted to see how well she does and if she does really well I think that they will continue to re-release the other girls and they are going to start to get rid of all the Beef Forever dolls and they are going to start rolling them out. I know that it says like limited supplies and I think that that just means limited supplies in regards to the birthday collection version. I think that American Girl though is going to keep the box and all of that and then re-separate the accessories from the doll. Downstairs they had a really cute display of Kit and all of her stuff and I was contemplating getting her pajamas. Her pajamas do not look like pajamas to me. So I was very, very, very much tempted to start to pick up some outfits. But I was like, you know what? 
I'm just here for the dolls, so let me do that. When I was looking at all of the dolls, I will say that the quality on these dolls is great. It wasn't that hard to choose a doll. I feel like the classic mold specifically now, they kind of got right. It's the only face mold that doesn't have like a symmetry problem. It was fairly easy to get a kit doll. I think I was only there for like, what, two minutes of going through the kit dolls and seeing which ones were good and which ones weren't. And when I found the one that I wanted, I was like, okay, I want to make sure that I keep this doll. So I'm going to get her ears pierced because if I get her ears pierced, the return policy and the exchange policy is no longer valid. I don't know if you guys know that. If, if you go to the American Girl store and get an American Girl doll's ears pierced, the ability to return the doll is no longer valid and the ability to exchange the doll is no longer valid as well. So definitely keep that in mind. So for me, I was like a for sure fire way of making sure that I do not return this doll is to get her ears pierced. So I was like, let me do this. And also it's going to add a little more girliness to Miss Kit Kit Rich and her bob. I prefer this kit so much more. I've been getting a lot of DMs asking me what the quality is on her. And I do prefer this kit over the Be Forever kit. I feel like the Be Forever kit just has such a coconut head. And this one just has a more tamed down bob. It is fairly long. It is still a very thick wig. Do not get me wrong. It is still a very, very thick wig, but it definitely is not giving coconut the way that the Be Forever kit was giving coconut. I will say though, I am a little upset that I never got my hands on like a pre-Mattel kit kit ridge with the really, really chubby face. That kit is definitely the iconic kit with like the chubby face, the nice long bob that isn't so coconut in my head, if that makes sense. Anyway, after getting her ears pierced, I decided to open her up in store. I haven't wanted, I haven't opened a doll in store since Corinne's release. So I was like, let me be cute and actually do this. And also I was filming for TikTok and I knew that I would be leaving to my big American Girl doll collection at my parents' house the exact same day. So I was like, let me kill two birds with one stone and let me just film for both of the platforms. If you're not following me on TikTok yet, you have to. I am absolutely embarrassing myself on that app and I think that you guys are gonna see a completely different side of me because I have watched American Girl TikTok for the longest time and I feel like there are so many missed opportunities that we as AGTubers have not taken because not all of us are on the platform. So I am definitely out here embarrassing myself in New York. So make sure you're following me on TikTok, but yeah. That is it. That was me getting kit from the American Girl store. I did take some really funny pictures of me being quote unquote paparazzi outside, but I don't think I'm a certified kit hater after getting her, if I'm being completely honest, and I definitely would recommend her if you're looking to get her. Now, before I go, I do want to announce something very massive. On May 6th at 2 p.m., AG Jitters, Alley Cat Loves AG, Leah Chat, and I will be at the American Girl store in Orlando. We are having a meetup. We all announced it on all of our social media platforms and I am so unbelievably excited to be doing this meetup with these icons okay I have been dying to share this with you guys but we will all be at the Orlando store at two o'clock May 6th make sure you're there come in take pictures I will have stuff for anyone that is there for the meetup it will be such a fun time I literally cannot wait you guys this is honestly such a big deal to me I've never done a meetup with other AG tubers so getting to do a meetup with literally three of my favorite creators is insane to me but yeah make sure you guys mark your calendars May 6th we will be in Orlando if you get the chance and you're in the Orlando area make sure you guys head on over to the American Girl store in Orlando all right you guys thank you guys so much for watching this video my name is Chris you guys can follow me on my Instagram which is at the doll studio by Chris make sure you guys follow my TikTok which is at Chris American Girl with a K make sure you guys follow my behind the scenes account which is behind the studio by Chris Definitely leave a like on this video. Comment down below your thoughts on Kit and her re-release. And make sure you guys click that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.